Hello everybody! In this video, we will be using the concept of parallel and transversal lines, alternate interior angles, and some basic geometry. So, let's get started! So, in this video, we're going to be proving that the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line. And this line is parallel to the line BC. So it's parallel to this line that you could extend from BC. So these two lines are parallel. And if we extended this line AC, so if we extended it upward, then you'll notice that this line is a transversal of the parallel lines, this one in green and the one off of BC. So what that means is that this angle Z would be equal to this angle here, which has a measure z. And this angle and this angle are vertical angles, which means that this angle also has a measure z. And if we did the same thing for line AB, which extended upward. So that means that this angle Y is equal to this angle here, Y. And that in turn means that this, this angle, is also why, because these two angles are vertical angles. And since we know that if we have a line with an angle coming off of the line, we know that this is 180 degrees. So that means that this that we have over here, y, x, and z, these are all plotted against one single line, which means angle y plus angle x plus angle z is equal to 180 degrees. And as we can see, these angles, y, x, and z, are the same angles, they have the same measure as the angles inside of this triangle. So that means all of these angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.